Hi guys, this is our example chocolate bar we're going to create. So all you got to do is follow along uh, in Tinkercad as we create this chocolate bar and then just upload it to Microsoft Teams when you're done so you can get credit for this part of the mini project that is making our own custom chocolate bars. All right, so uh, pretty straightforward. We're going to make a chocolate bar that says physics. This will be the chocolate bar that uh, if everything goes well, we'll get a version of on, on Friday. All right, so you should have a page that looks something like this. Go ahead and click on Create New Design. After you've created new des uh, design, you should end up here. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, let's just very quickly change the name. We're going to call this Example Chocolate Bar V2. All right, uh, we had some maximum dimensions for our chocolate bar, which was... 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches by one half inch tall. So in order to set us up for success, in the bottom right hand corner, let's go ahead and set those maximum dimensions. So go ahead and click on edit grid in the bottom right hand corner down here. Then we're gonna change this to inches. All right, it says 7.87 inches by 7.87. Let's make this 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. All right, I also changed the units up here to inches for millimeters. Go ahead and click Update Grid. All right, with the scroll button on your mouse, go ahead and zoom in. So this work plane is now 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. This is the maximum size of our chocolate, of our chocolate bar. Uh, the shapes that we add here should not exceed this work plane boundary overall. All right, so we're gonna make a nice coin shape, as I said. Um, this is what we are shooting for overall. So let's start by adding this circular base. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cylinder, drag that over. Then I'm going to click on the, after I've dragged it onto the work plane, I'm going to click on this white box in the bottom right. I'm going to make this 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Press enter. All right, that is one very thick chocolate bar that would be, you know, basically impossible to eat, but it is beyond our maximum dimensions. It's one inch right now. We need to make this less than one inch. So a good chocolate bar thickness is about um, an eighth of this, so 0 0.125. Go ahead and put that as the height. I clicked on this white box on the very top of our object. And that is much better. This is more like a chocolate wafer. This is something we could actually bite through. Uh, this is a good thickness. Okay, now that we've gotten our cylinder in the correct shape, go ahead and press W on the keyboard because we want to place things on top of this. So go ahead and click press W. Now we have the work plane is on top of our chocolate bar. We want to add some text. So on the right hand side where it says basic shapes, go and find text. Drag that one over. Okay, when you've dragged it over, we want to make this say physics. So uh, in particular, we want this to be all capital letters. The bigger we can make our letters, the better chance we have of this appearing on our actual chocolate bar. So keep that in mind as you, you know, put your own chocolate bar together if you decide to put text on it. All right, we also want to make this as simple as possible. So we're just gonna go with sans as our fonts. We don't want multi-language. We're gonna go with sans, even simpler. Perfect. Now this thing is way too big for our chocolate bar, so we're just going to go ahead and click on the bottom right hand corner and then scale it so it fits within our chocolate bar. Again, we kind of want to go for the maximum size we possibly can and still get this thing to fit on our chocolate bar. So let's see, I'm going to keep going about right there. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should say the word physics. It should have some room on the side because we're going to add some hexes. We want it to look something like this. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, if we rotate with by holding down the right button on our mouse, we can see that, yikes, this thing is very kind of grossly tall. Okay, so how are we gonna fix that? Let's make this, so click on this white box here with the font selected, 0 0.125 inches tall, all right. That looks a lot better to me. Drag it over a tiny bit. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and create the hex sections. 
so the hexagons. How do we do that? Well, we go over here, we find polygon tool. So you click and drag the polygon over. All right, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and make this 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. Okay, and if we look at our other example, we'll notice that we have a row of them, we got two at the bottom, and then it sort of arches around uh, and you know, wraps around the word physics. So before we go any further, let's just take a look. Yep, it is really tall, so we're gonna rotate, hold down on the right mouse button to rotate. I can zoom in with the wheel, click on that top white button. I'm gonna go ahead and make it 0 0.125 inches. I would say 0 0.125 is an excellent default size for your chocolate bar. We really don't want to be thicker than a quarter of an inch. If you have a chocolate bar that's thicker than a quarter inch, it's not going to be very pleasant to eat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just place this roughly on the left-hand side. Uh, then I'm going to go in the upper left and click on Duplicate. Okay, then I'm just going to drag them out. Press in the upper left again, Duplicate. Again, Duplicate. Again, Duplicate. Okay, and so... If we look at our example, we have five across, two down. We have five across, two down. I don't like the positioning of these though, so I'm gonna click on one and then on my keyboard, just press over with the arrows on my keyboard. Okay, so up one, over one. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just an example, so you know more or less the process behind making your own um, chocolate bar. But what I'll be looking for when I go ahead and um, grade these is, you know, did you get it more or less right? If you did, we'll give you your points. Uh, I care more that you're able to apply these skills later on uh, when we design our own chocolate bars, and then we have to use Tinkercad for a slightly more complex project in December. Okay, so again, we're just doing duplicate, and then we're moving it around, these around. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me duplicate that again. Uh oh, what do we do here? It's easiest to use the keyboard, perhaps. Okay, duplicate, 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 duplicate. All right, let's look at our example. Uh, looks like we were a little bit more to the. left. So we're going to make our physics text a little bit smaller, I think. Okay, and then we're just going to shift some of these guys over. This is the challenge to make them all align. Apologize, my computer is sounding like a rocket ship right now. Um, good computer, but it is it's overheated very quickly. Okay, duplicate, and we'll add one up here. I think. For the fun of it, let's add one to the very bottom. We can just make this, doesn't have to be perfect. We can just make it kind of interesting looking. Okay, we'll recenter physics right there. That looks good to me. As long as you got something like that, I think you're good to go. Uh, if you press W, you can reset the work plane back to normal. All right, pretty good chocolate bar. Last thing to do is make sure to group everything. So we go ahead and click off of the um, chocolate bar, then we hold down the left button and we drag over everything. Then in the upper right, we're going to go ahead and click group. All right, so group. Now it's one solid piece, and we can 3D print this and make chocolate bars out of it. All right, that's it. Uh, last thing to do is in the upper right, click export. And then you want to click on STL, and it downloads. And so you would have to go to show in finder or show in folder. So you'd click on the download here, show in folder, 
Once you've found that, then you can upload it to Microsoft Teams. If you need help with that step, um, unfortunately, that's really the only part I can't help you with because, you know, I'm working on a Mac and you guys have your Windows computers. But uh, go to your Downloads folder in Windows, and then uh, from there, you can upload that to Microsoft Teams to the classwork assignment. All right. Good job, guys. We'll see you back in class. All right. Adios.